Okay, so at 9, 723, around 10 a.m., that's yesterday, I got these words. I had a very um, distracting day yesterday, and so I did not was not able to get this done until today. Um, the title is Focused, and the subtitles are He is Risen, Awe, Jesus, Patriotism, My Faithful, Anointed, Warrior's Declaration, and Follow Me. The one thing I want to point out is that I hear these words from the Lord. I write them down, but I did not come up with any of these words. Sometimes it's shifting between um, the point of view of who seems to be saying it, but that's just between God and the Holy Spirit. They're just, you know, that's how they want it to come out. So, um, and the Warriors Declaration is something hopefully you can agree with, but um, I did not write that either. So I just want to point that out. Um, Anyway, while I was recording, I realized that one of the pages did not print. So there will be a section, the Warriors Declaration will be a different background. So don't be freaked out by that. I only have so many hours in the day and I got to do what I can do it. Okay, so. number one. He is risen. Hallelujah. He is risen. See the grave? Nobody in it. Dead things coming back to life again. There's about to be another resurrection. Hallelujah. Jesus conquered sin once for all. He conquered the grave and death. Nothing the evil one can throw at mine will work. He opens every door for all who will come. Do you see Jesus? Focus on Jesus. He holds the keys to eternal life. Jesus paid it all. All to him you owe. No matter how disappointing the world becomes. There is no turning back. As the world falls apart, as the events unfold and strip hope from those that value their money, things, and false gods, hold on to your joy in Jesus. Show your joy to others. Share Jesus as their losses mount. I will bring people to you shortly and tell you to go speak with people. People are being readied now by your continuous prayer my servants my prayer choir you do well to pray around the clock your prayers are making changes that you cannot see continue to pray number two awe glory to god in the highest he has done great things our god rules the entire earth he allows us to serve him Soon, the rule of evil will be ended and the rule of love will begin. Rejoice. Stand in awe of God. Gaze at him in reverence. The one and only God who gives you your very life. Read of his glory. Sing of his fame. Dance about in his victory. He is perfect and he is all power and all love. We serve a God like no other. Study him. Gaze. Be in awe at your role in his plan. You are being used by this amazing God that no other supersedes. Gratefully, we come before him, invited to speak our hearts and make our requests. Be in awe. How good the God of the universe uses us small humans in his plans. His plans move forward in perfect strategy. Be on the right side of God for his fury is soon to show. Mountains will fall. Oceans will lose their place. Chasms in the land will swallow people contrary to him. The sky will roll back and show the void. All things that God, the author of the universe, has kept in place so that we could enjoy his creation is about to change. The transition from peace and normalcy to difficulty and wrath will have a few bumps in the road. Be rest assured those who lean on the Lord with their full strength will have the ease through each situation. He will provide and protect for those with full faith. Be of full faith. Stand in awe. See how the Lord has provided for his own through the Bible. The Israelites, David, Gideon, Elisha, Elijah, 
Joshua, read and see how I work. Read and see how I provide. I am a God of consistent protection and provisions for my own. If you are not my own, turn now. Before the challenges, bring me your full faith. I wish none to suffer. I provide the way to the end in peace. Come to me with full faith and I can and will provide you peace that passes all understanding. Chaos will be surrounding you, but you faithful will be in joy and peace and well taken care of. Continue to pray and bind evil and darkness to allow my holy angels to be filled with my full holy power to defend on your behalf. The more you pray, the stronger our team of angels can fight. Prayer gives them an extra boost. Number three. Oh, how sweet, how sweet it is to trust in Jesus. Jesus, the one and only Messiah. Jesus, the true Messiah. Jesus, the one who conquered death. Jesus, my one and only son. Jesus, the door to the eternal blissful life. Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus, who walked on water. Jesus, who in humility came down to be in the form of a man just to save you. Jesus, the one who points out the narrow path. Jesus, gaze on Jesus. He is precious and to be exalted, the savior of the world, the one who will rule the world properly soon. After the great tribulation. Jesus, who rules the universe on the right hand of God. Jesus, the one and only. Jesus, who is worthy to be praised. Bring your focus to Jesus. Know Jesus. When the false Messiah soon arises, focus on Jesus. Do not listen to this man. Know Jesus' words. Man's deception will be impressive, but their choice, a mere man, altered for their uses, is filled with his father, Satan. My son, Jesus Christ, is my only son. The deceiver, the false Messiah, is a falsehood. Do not hear him speak. Do not speak his name. Do not pay any attention to him or his attempts to deceive. Hold on to Jesus. Fix your gaze on Jesus. There is no other way to me but through my son, Jesus. Recall he will not arrive in the sky until after the times of sorrows. I will sustain my own in this time. Then Jesus will come for you in the clouds for the worldwide rapture. Then the great tribulation will occur a dark time. This is truth. I, the Lord God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Jacob, Dave, and David, do not lie. The deception is on your doorstep. Be prepared. People will be persuaded. You may be shocked who follows the false one. Recall, I will sort the church. Those that are mine will not follow the false one. They will know his words are not right. They will know the tribulation is to come. They will not trust this man. Hearts will be revealed. Those with me will have miraculous provisions. Those who are not with me will follow the falsehood. Many will be pastors and people who call themselves Christians. Do not be of these people. Their consequence is staying for the great tribulation. Know me. Know my son and avoid the darkest time in human history, the great tribulation. The great tribulation is going to be quite a terrible time because darkness will reign fully. All of the most difficult things ever thought up will occur and more. No one will be able to think about what the evil one has planned. Avoid this time by knowing my son, loving him, accepting his free gift of grace, become baptized, pursue righteousness, take care to stay purified in soul, be of my family, join the new covenant, 
allow me to provide and protect for you forevermore. I offer you the way. Come, come quickly. The time to choose is almost here. Come to me. No matter your past, I will forgive all with true faith that pursue sanctification and are led by the Holy Spirit. Be in me. This is the time of eternal choices. Choose me. One leads to eternal life in heaven where all is only good. The other leads to an eternal time of torment and horrors. Choose me. I offer heaven. I am the one and only who gives heaven. Many false religions and man-made gods are upon the world. But following them all leads to eternal misery in hell. Choose me. Choose heaven before it's too late. I offer rest in chaos. Choose me. Who am I? I am the Lord God Almighty, the first and the last, the author of your world, the author of time, the author of the universe, the author of your life. I offer you an easier life. I will carry your burdens. I will cure your illnesses. I will protect and provide for you. All I request is true faith and obedience. Choose me. You are a mere man. The first wave of evil and darkness is about to hit the earth. The spiritual fight brought to your physical world. People are going to erupt in all of the worst ways. Anger, violence, unchecked selfishness. Find safety and peace in me. I am the only way. Come to me through my son, Jesus. He is the only way to me. Everything is about to change permanently. The life you know, never to return to what it was. For those that love this carnal life, this is sad or tragic or even to be mourned. But for mine, it is the time to rejoice fully. All of this earth will pass away. But those with my joy have my hope of eternal salvation. They know as soon as they see the world break apart that the redemption, their rapture to heaven is on the way in a few short months. They shall be happy and dancing and whistling a tune of worship as the world spirals out of control. Why? Because they know I do not fail and after they bring in the first harvest, that they are coming home to me. They care not about money, goods, or even the terrain. They care about me and my wishes. They care about saving souls and bringing more and more to me to spare them from the rule of the Antichrist. These are my true church. They rejoice. All angry, all hopeless, all with sad hearts, all depressed, all befuddled, all that wish for normal to return, all of these are like the complaining ones in Israel in the Exodus process. Not an ounce of being grateful between them. These will not have my protections. They will suffer man's plans. Perhaps they will fail miserably enough to cry out to me before it is too late and join the joyful, the worldwide rapture is soon. The chaos, the war, the deception, the false peace, the choice for the false messiah or me, the rounding up of Christians and conservatives that did not heed my voice early and obey, the great earthquake, the rapture. These are surely to come. Then we will have brought in the first harvest. They will turn and bring more with them. The Holy Spirit is about to flood the earth. Man's plans will occur, but so will mine. As their horrors unfold, my miracles will be spreading and changing hearts. I will provide protections, food, water, electricity, and gas. I will show wonders never seen for my own. As the world sees the contrast of man's plans and my provisions, people will be able to make an educated choice between two paths, both with tangible proofs right before their eyes. The peace this world is accustomed to is to end sooner than you can imagine. When you see the shift, rejoice. Your redemption is in mere moments away. Keep your mind on the things of heaven. Be about my work. Listen and obey. The shift occurs in seconds. Hold on to me 
with full faith and no trouble shall sway you. Number four, patriotism. It is natural for humans to band together under a flag of a land that says we are all of this land. The kings of all major countries have made a secret pact to unify the world under one flag, no longer allowing their own patriotism. A one world government has already been employed behind the scenes. They aim to make it fully implemented and public soon. The only way their distorted minds can craft a way to destroy people's inborn need to be under a local flag is to destroy many countries. They will soon launch a war with strategical destruction. They will kill a billion people in order to intimidate. They will take out cultural icons and things that unify people. They will target churches and all things that bond people together. They will drop bombs from planes and aim them with perfect accuracy at places that they have already pre-decided need to be destroyed so they can build new communities how they see fit. All uniform, all close to mass transit, all cities will be monitored and they have the ability for complete control. Know that all the soon destruction is not an aggression from another country, but a plan all the kings have decided upon. They do this for the aim of complete control and fear. Recall that the new cities will be offered as safe places to live, but they are bait because those cities that people will volunteer to live in will be later turned into prison cities and you will need passports to get out. If a person doesn't comply, their food, energy, or housing will be revoked. These cities will be godless. No churches will be built, not churches with me in them. The destructions to come are horrifying. How men who call themselves kings could agree to destroy their own lands. Why? Power and money. The kings are irreparably sick. Their souls so deep in love with the evil one, they do not care for fellow humans. The, they only care about power and money. Number five, my faithful. As your home stands and as you see houses crumble, offer them housing and food. Offer them Jesus. Offer them eternal salvation. You will need to learn to hug again. Many tears will be shed by the victims of the kings, and you will need to offer my love to them. Be compassionate. Offer them a safe place. However, no one should be housed with you without following certain rules. All will need to pray before meals. All will need to help with household upkeep. All will need to pitch in in some way. If you are housing people, you will need to implement a consistent prayer and Bible reading time. Read the Bible aloud and pray together. Begin in one of the Gospels. It is customary to have this time when all are present. And often in the past, it is just before or after a meal. Anyone staying with you must attend. Not holding to the rules shall mean expulsion. The least a guest can do for free housing and food in a crisis is hold to the house rules. Yes, you can add personal house rules, but keep them simple. Pray over all you will house. Pray their hearts are softened. You will need to make some safe choices. For these you will house will not be initially Christian, nor have Christian morals. If you have children, you will need to house them in your room. Rearrange the home to be more conductive to bringing people together. You may have to have a bedroom for an entire family, or you may need separate genders in different rooms depending on who comes. If you have tents, they can also be employed outside. You may need to have a fixed schedule for bathing times, chore times, to manage people safely and effectively. I will bring people. They will see your provisions. They will wonder how and why.
You simply state that I, God, provides for those with true faith in him. When you ask if they would like to come in, be sure and state, this is holy ground, and pray over them to break bonds before they step in. Remind them that if they choose to stay overnight, they must abide by the house rules. State them up front. Those that are spared in what is to come will mostly be grateful and comply. If they cannot comply, they are not worthy. When they leave, pray over them that they have a change of heart in return. Pray also that they are bound from bringing any harm to your property. Some will come that thought they were faithful. And they are well associated with Christianity, but they lacked full faith in me. To these, you need to help them to understand how to have full faith, to let go of their grasp on controlling life and allow me to carry them. They also will have to agree to the rules of the house and be prayed over. But these gems will be able to help you. They will be familiar with my words. They will help others who understand me. They will help support you. These times will be different more than any other time. Some will be bitter that a house is standing surrounded by rubble, flood, or harms. You will have to have a person or more, one at least, watch at all times. They shall not use man's ways to defend, but instead aggressive prayer for safe borders of the property. All houses surrounded in prayer, I will keep safe. If anyone on watch sees an approaching threat, all they have to do is pray to me to stop that threat in full faith and it will be stopped. No harm shall come to my own. Recall Jericho was one in simple obedience. This is how I wish you to be. Simply obey my simple instructions and I will provide and protect. Be of full faith. Number six, anointed. The time nears. You feel it. The change is in the spiritual. Rest in me. You are fully equipped. When you hear your name, rejoice. Yes, you will come to me. You will be equipped for your missions. You will have much responsibility when you return. But fear not, you will have been well prepared and will not fail. You will bring the Holy Spirit to the world. You will be very busy, but you will bring in my first harvest. Rejoice! The kingdom will grow and we will defeat the enemy. Be of good cheer. I know you are exhausted from praying in my full power around the clock. I know you are tired of this world. The time is here. Hold on. Listen for your name. This is next. Continue to pray. Prepare to leave. Number seven, warrior's declaration. Oh Lord, my God, I stand before you in awesome wonder. Your multi-layered plan is perfect. The victory already in sight. Your people prepared and ready. The enemy is to be undone. Our victory is only because of your mighty hand. But we can trust you in your plan. We have full faith that you are true and you bring us all the needed elements for success. We will trust you no matter what we see. We will not lose faith as the fight gets hard. We will continue to rejoice at our soon rapture. No matter what curveballs the enemy throws, we know they believe they will cause us to fear. But we know whatever they mean for harm, you will turn to good. We will keep silent where you say to keep silent. We will share your wonders where you tell us to share. We love and trust your mighty powers for us. We will pray at every turn so that we stay on the path. We will pray to bring extra power to our angels. We will pray to stay in peace. We will help others that you share with us. We will go joyfully forth to bring in the harvest 
of the prodigals and the halfborns. We rejoice at what you have already told us you will do and at the things to come that we have yet to see or understand. We will walk forward in faith, knowing that you will lead us without faltering. You will not let harm come to us because we will be your willing servants, full of faith. Lord God, you are mighty. You are love. You are grace. You are patience. You are provisions. You are faithful. You are perfect. May the whole world come to know your fame. May the whole world understand your grace. May the whole world consider and take your offer of eternal life. We rejoice at the opportunity to serve you in these times of sorrow that are about to occur. We trust you. We are ready to serve. Who is like you? No one. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is the one true God. Rejoice. We serve the living God who loves his people. Rejoice. Number eight. Follow me. I am about to speak to each of you. When you hear me, follow me. Obey. Listen for me. The chaos, the human uprising, is about to occur. As soon as it occurs, you will know. People will be going mad in ways you have never seen. Stay home. Take communion. Pray to me from this day forward that I speak directly to you. After Julie speaks and three days pass, you should hear my voice. If you do not, you will have to find someone who does. Have them help you learn more of what you need to do, then follow them. If no one can be found, repent. Take communion, pray for three days to hear from me. I will lead all these with full faith in me. I will guide every step. Those who hear me will be protected and provided for through all to come. You only have to tell those who wonder why you are protected and provided for that I am the source. Tell them that God provides for those with true faith. Be my witnesses. The time is here. The time is now. Okay, I hope that's an encouragement to you and um, I'll see you next time.